Hi everybody, Paul here again. This is what a typical oxygen sensor looks like on a vehicle. Replacing an oxygen sensor is pretty straightforward. First disconnect the electrical connection and then remove the sensor. However, knowing some tips and tricks in advance can make this job go a whole lot easier. Of course, always be sure to observe all safety precautions when working underneath a vehicle. The female electrical connection will have some type of a manual release tab on it. To disconnect the electrical connection, keep the release tab held down while at the same time pulling and wiggling back and forth on the male electrical connection. Do not pull on the wires. Sometimes these can be a little stubborn to remove, so just be patient and keep working at it. Before removing the oxygen sensor itself, I always first spray some PB Blaster penetrating oil on the oxygen sensor threads and then wait at least 15 minutes before trying to remove it. The drive nut on most oxygen sensors will be a universal six point, which can be removed with either a 22 millimeter or a 7 8 inch wrench or socket. There are many different ways to get an oxygen sensor to break free. One way is to use an open end wrench. Wearing heavy gloves will allow you to pull a lot harder on the wrench because it prevents the wrench from digging into your hands. If you're unable to get it to break free, you can always tap on the other end of the wrench with a sledgehammer or push on it with your foot. You can also cut the wires right at the oxygen sensor. This will now allow you to use a closed end wrench. Again, wear heavy gloves for maximum pulling. If you're unable to get it to break free, again, you can always tap on the other end of the wrench with a sledgehammer or push it with your foot. Cutting the wires at the oxygen sensor will also give you the option of using a regular deep socket with a breaker bar. Slipping a pipe over the end of the breaker bar handle will also give you additional leverage should you need it. One big caveat is do not use a regular ratchet Otherwise, you may damage the inside gearing on the ratchet due to the extreme force that you may have to apply to get the oxygen sensor to break free. Another way is to use special oxygen sensor sockets with a breaker bar like you see in this picture. A lot of auto parts stores will loan these out for free. Some oxygen sensors or even an air fuel ratio sensor may contain a heat shield like you see here. The only way you can remove a sensor that contains a heat shield is with a special thin wall oxygen sensor socket. Most oxygen sensor sockets are thick wall and will not work on a sensor that contains a heat shield. Most auto parts stores will not have a thin wall oxygen sensor socket to loan out like you see here, so you'll need to purchase one. This is the UPC tag that came with this particular thin wall oxygen sensor socket. It also has a half inch square drive. You can see here how even this thin wall oxygen sensor socket has very little room to fit down inside the heat shield which is why it's a necessity. Some of these thin wall oxygen sensor sockets can be really expensive, but this particular one was very reasonably priced and of excellent quality, which I'll post in the description. Before installing the new oxygen sensor, be sure to put some anti-seize lubricant on the threads, which will make it come out a lot easier the next time it's replaced. I hope you found this helpful. And if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now. Okay, Sparky. Wait. <laughs>